If you are tired of making the same trading mistakes over and over again without knowing why, then maybe you want to stick around because this video is going to change that for you. One of the biggest reasons traders stay stuck is because they don't actually track why they are winning or losing. So without the journal, you're basically flying blind. A proper trading journal shows you what's really working for you and just as importantly, what's not working for you. It helps you spot your best setups, fix mistakes faster and build real confidence in your system over time. Plus, it just keeps you accountable and stops you from falling into emotional traps like revenge trading or FOMO, which is fear of missing out. And at the end of the day, journal isn't just about tracking wins and losses. It's about creating a personal blueprint for how you trade at your absolute best. And today, I'm going to show you exactly how to build a clean, powerful trading journal using Notion. Anyways, jumping onto Notion, as you can see here, I'm going to be showing you how you can obviously create a calendar view like this for yourself. Um, but I will just show you a quick look at this notion I, you know, created for my students. So if you'd like to purchase this separately, even if you're not a student of mine, the link for this will be down below. You can go ahead and check that out for yourself. Now, anyways, before I jump into showing you, uh, obviously, you know, the calendar view, etc., how you can create one yourself. I'm just going to obviously go and give you guys a little tour of what this is. So I won't, you know, long it, but that's just pretty much an overview of what you can expect on the notion if you go ahead and purchase it for yourself. So you got you can document your missed trades. You've got a calculator here. You've got your trade accounts that you can put in there as well. Links, etc. Things like that. Just general useful links. Uh, you've got the different types of percentages here between the, the currency pairs. You've got a live chart. Uh, daily wisdom so you can refresh. This. this is just like quotes that you can just read to keep yourself in a positive state of mind. Some general quick notes there. This is like a fortune cookie. So you can you have two a day. So looks isn't just about isn't just random. It's a good um, it's good preparation timing. Another one would be sometimes you make more from staying out than jumping in, which is very true. These here are just my personal holdings. If you do require this as a student or not, you can directly message me and I can show you how to get your personal holdings. So pretty much I've got holdings here in terms of my stock investments personally as we speak. Then my watch list is which pretty much the trades that I mostly trade. Um, I've got different pairs on it now like pound card, etc. But those are different pairs. Top st stories there, and obviously the economic calendar as well. So it's just all in one place. I got a, a clocks here at the different times of different countries. I got a habit tracker, Pomodoro, uh, short break, long break. Customize it to yourself there. To do this as well. So if you, to, for example, uh, let's get rid of that. Let's tick these. You can click reset, and obviously it'll reset it for you. Risk management, uh, trading reminders, and ideas for today, and obviously the cool background there uh, with the best name ever. Uh, obviously, you've got the, the kind of ticker here, standard trade v1 trade journal, and that's what I'm going to be showing you how to create. So, if you want to create obviously the calendar view like this, all you've got to do is simply click on the three lines at the top left here, go on to uh, private, or, and then click add a page. Once you click add a page, obviously, you can customize it. For example, you've got full width, small text, etc. But for now, we'll just leave it. And we're going to name this Trading Journal. If I can spell trading, not training, that'd be pretty awesome. But as you can see, we're going to just name it Trading Journal. I, I'm actually going to pull it full width because I prefer it. You can go ahead and add like an, a cover as well if you'd like. They have personal ones on here. Or you can upload one yourself. Or you link one, etc. But let's just put, you know, something. Uh, let's just do this one right for now. Okay. Maybe reposition it a little bit. Actually, no, I don't like that one. It's too zoomed in. So let's just do a pure color. Okay. Maybe, maybe something like that. I'll do. So as you can see, we've got the trading journal. You can add an icon as well. If you want to just put, for example, a bank there. And then pretty much in order to create one of these with the, the, the line, the outline around it is you do slash call out. Okay. And then you put, uh, for example, I've done it something like this. I've obviously typed it in bold and then obviously I've made it grey as well and then obviously what you can do is you can press enter to go down you can do slash database then inline and we're going to just do a new empty database we're going to just name name it well, to be fair we can hide this by clicking on the three dots there hide database title now obviously what you want on a notion uh, journal is completely up to you but I'll do some general basic ones so for example you've got um Obviously, the pair you're trading, that's a, obviously a simple one. So what we'll go ahead and do there is we'll put in the pair or you can put in slash asset or just like asset, for example, if you're trading futures market 
or something else like the stocks then obviously you don't want to pull it as pair because it just doesn't make sense because you're not trading forex right so you can go ahead and put an asset there which would just be the ticker that you're trading so for example if you're trading eq or N uh, you know nq or es whatever or you're a dollar or pound dollar you can go ahead and put that in there okay uh, we'll create a couple pages there so for example let's just say we're trading for the sake of this video thank you right nasdaq uh okay next up we can go ahead and put for example we can put uh, a bias so this one would be like so what i'll go ahead and do in here is search for an option so i can type in an option here so the bias pretty much just means for example like are you long or short right so let's just say i'm short uh, not short long and then short and we can go ahead and change the colors of these as well so for sh let's say for, for long we can go blue or green doesn't really matter let's just go with green for now actually then for short we can go red okay so that'll just be like a drop down menu so you, this is just a journal that you're filling in to track your trades next up we can go ahead and add the date okay so what we'll do here is obviously the day of the trade that we're trading because this will show up on the calendar view so today's date is the 30th the next thing we want to potentially add is the session so we can add another drop down there again and rename this to session then we'll go ahead and type in london uh, we can do asia session as well and obviously new york as well there okay so those are just the things like the for example you know just the general things that you can track over time because when it comes to reviewing your journal you know, you can get to a point where you can go back over it. You can think, okay, what asset am I most profitable with? What bias am I better at playing? For example, am I better at playing the short side or the long side? Uh, date doesn't really have obviously much relevancy. I mean, it does if you just look at the exact days. For example, you might be better midweek. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, rather than trading Monday and Friday. So these are just individual things you can review once you've accumulated enough data if you had wanted to. Okay, session as well could be another thing. For example, if you're more profitable in London overall, you know, just tweaks like that you can make to your system long term. That's not you changing your strategy. That's just you changing the, the ways your the, the times and the, the you know the tickers or the you know the assets you're trading etc so just keep that in mind and then the next one we can add is obviously the outcome of the trades this can be another drop down we can go ahead and put an outcome of the trade there and uh, in the outcome we're obviously going to just put win or loss okay and obviously we, again we can make this green or blue for a win there and for a loss we can make it red okay next up another common one especially something that i put is the pnl uh, percentage so this is the percentage of the trade or if you just oh i don't know why i've typed it in there what i'll do is i'll just copy it so i don't have to type it again but what we do in this one is we put a hashtag and i'll show you why shortly is because it will calculate it for you at the bottom when it comes to um you know calculating it so for me what i do is uh I'll just do it now, okay? So I go and calculate more options and sum, okay? So if I put minus one there, I'll be down minus one. Come the next day or come the next session or the next trade in general, let's just say I've gained 5%. It'll add 5%. Let's say the next trade I've lost 3% for some reason, even though, we've got, come on, be realistic, 1%, right? And then obviously the next trade I've gained, let's just, oh, we need to put the minus there, don't we? Like I said, the next trade I've also lost a percent, and then the next trade I've lost, uh, I've gained five percent again. And let's go three percent again. As you can see, I'm still up five percent. Okay, minus one, four percent. So as you can see, it kind of changes, right? Very simple to do, but that'll be your PL percentage of the trade. Or if you can't track the exact PL of the trade because you have maybe more prop firms, or um, you know. It's just generally hard because it doesn't really tell you the exact percentage. For example, on much trader of like the trade that you're, like if you took partial success, it doesn't tell you the exact amount. You'd have to calculate it yourself. For example, like 0.5% of 50k or whatever, and then figure it out. So what you can do is you can put just RR like that. So risk towards. So this could be the RR of the trade. So for example, obviously when you load up the position tool on Trading View and you're targeting like a one to three, etc. If you lose a trade, that'd be minus one. If you win the trade, that'd be plus three. Okay. Or well, obviously, if you're doing 0.5%, it'd be half that. So you can do it that way. It's up to you how you want to do it. The next thing we want to add up is 
it, this is just down to you really um for me you can like for example put in confluences so this can be things that, like you look for in a trade so some of the common ones especially what we do here is obviously you know imbalance or just imp also known as a you know bloody fair value gap uh a supply you know demand uh asia run liquidity sweep right manipulation just general things that you can put in premium discount these are just confluences that you'll look for in your trades and then over a series of trades like for example like you can just like fill on obviously these ones here right um i've just added them all in and what we'll do is i'll put the free template below if you if you want to go ahead and get this as well but obviously it's not going to be as good as the main one i have um but yeah that's kind of obviously like the general just it's just confidence that you you know you look for personally when it comes to entering a trade so you can go ahead and put them in there um the next one oops so we'll remove all of these for now um we'll just put some of them for example like that but like i said when it comes to reviewing your journal you might find yourself waiting for the extra confluence to be you know more probable of a setup right and then the next one what we're going to be doing is uh let's go with chart okay so the chart one will obviously just put a, like a text or you can put files and media and then obviously once you put in an image there or an embedder link so for example if i go to trading view now let's just say uh i'll i want to journal my recent gu trade that i had just taken right because i literally just closed up a nice 5.4 r there on gu so what we'll go ahead and do is we'll get the link we'll embed it okay link and as you can see it's embedded the link so when you click on that link it will take you to uh, obviously the trade now what you can do is you can put notes on the charts for example shift and structure high time for period or you can make a separate one if you'd like which would be just used for comments so for example text then you can put notes okay i don't personally have this in my one but so i'll go ahead and delete that but if you'd like that that's generally what you do personally if i wanted to add any notes it would just simply be on the chart screenshot that i'll put on trade view anyways okay now what we'll do is well we we'll make a little bit of space here just so obviously it's not too long because we can add some side text there as well which i'll i'll show you how to add the side text and stuff like that but obviously i'm not going to show you how to add the other things that i've already you know got in my main one like i said if you want to check out the main one it's literally 13 pounds or 15 dollars or something like that uh you can go ahead and get that it's literally cheap but it's everything there for you everything's in sync now once we have this in place what i will go ahead and do is i'll just do another call out box here and then uh let's just do reminders okay text color we'll keep the background i don't know why i did a background there we're going to go ahead and drag this to the right side just so it has like a bit of a we'll keep it like that okay and then one of the reminders can be these are just general trading reminders so for example take breaks uh you know don't over trade um don't marry the bias just general things that you can just remind yourself with really trade what you see not what you think is another good one i personally like then lastly there's another one just a general humbling one is anything can happen at any time okay so just keep that in mind or like for example always check for news uh these are just general things okay next up we're going to be adding the calendar view so we're going to go and hit, go ahead and click on the plus sign here okay and on the plus sign if you come on to what we're going to be doing here is a uh, calendar there we go i don't know why i froze for a minute there but we're going to go ahead and do is just click on the calendar and as you can see i'll bring this up okay now on the calendar what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be going on let's just uh we don't need to name anything to be honest we can click done and then what we can do is we'll go on properties obviously it'll show the asset we can click the bias and the date okay if you want to show the date it doesn't need to because it'll obviously put it in the date based accordingly to the table so you can go ahead and remove the date so you can for example put like that okay 
And maybe let's add the outcome as well. Oh, let's just keep it short and sweet. Oh, I didn't mean to add that. Oh, it's all going tits up now. <laughs> there we go. Okay. But we can put NQ short minus one. So you can click on just three dots there, properties, and you can remove and add what you'd like to see and view on here. Obviously, you can click it and open as a full page if you'd like, but I don't do that. Uh, but yeah, that's generally the basics and how you make one of them. Then obviously, filter. You can filter out different things here as well, and you sort it by whatever you want. You can remove the weekends as well. Uh, customize database. Where is the remove weekends? Um, I've forgotten now. Layout. Uh, show weekends. You can remove that if you want, because obviously we don't trade at weekends unless you're obviously a crypto dude. Uh, but you can keep them in for now. Wrap page titles, etc. So, loads of different things you can do. Uh, but that's generally how you do it. Again, I'm going to go ahead and hide a database title there. But that's how you create one of these databases uh, for a journal. Okay, guys. So if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead and drop a thumbs up. If you'd like to also purchase the complete Notion page that you just saw a minute ago, well, not a minute ago, but the start of the video, uh, showcasing the one I've created for my students, you can go ahead and purchase that for a small fee, uh, you know, which is just obviously there for you. Also, what I will do is a you know gesture of goodwill, is I'll go ahead and put this link, the template for this little journal here that you can duplicate and add to your own Notion. If you don't know how to do that, be sure to shoot me a message and I'll help you out. Also, what we can do is I'll just do it I'll do it for you. Uh, so pretty much if you want to make this, uh, you know, a database. Uh, so if you want to add this to your, bear with me, I'm just trying to find the journal on my top monitor. Because what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to show you how you can uh, uh, you know, access this. Um, or, you know, duplicate if you're not familiar with Notion. So um, bear with me, guys. So the link will be down below, okay? So pretty much I've just done this now. So this page is live, okay? So you can go ahead and click view. Well, I can't do that. You can't do that, but I can. But I'll put the link below for this template. Copy the link in the description. Paste it onto your web browser. And it'll load up something like this. Okay? Once it's loaded like that, all you want to do is make sure you're signed into your Notion account. Once you're signed into your Notion account, you want to click on this button here, which is just duplicate. Okay, then that will pretty much just be duplicated onto your Notion page, which you can find on the left side of the tabs. And then you'll be able to edit it to how you like, etc. This will just be there. I'll leave it there as a template for you. You can go ahead and change the confluences. You can add stuff to it and remove stuff to it as well. But that's generally how you do it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Any questions, make sure you pop it below.